In this video we'll look at what connections you need to make to get the Pro 160 working. The main control input on a Pro 160 is the six-way connector marked P underscore C or primary control. It needs an ignition connection to make it wake up, it needs something to tell it which direction to run in and also how fast it should run. The ignition connection is usually a switch connected across A and B on the main input but it can be a simple wire link, in which case it will turn on as soon as the power is applied. The way the ignition circuit works is that pin A sends battery voltage down the yellow wire to the ignition switch. The ignition switch turns it around and sends that battery voltage back up into pin B. As soon as the Pro 160 detects that voltage on pin B, it will switch on. The direction is controlled by pin C. If the Pro 160 detects battery voltage on this pin, it will run in reverse. If it doesn't, it will run forward. A common way to get this voltage is to pick it off from the ignition wire and through a switch like that and into pin C. The direction input is not required if you are using a joystick mode. In this case, the throttle position will determine the direction. Pins D, E and F are for the control potentiometer. We call pin D pot top and it feeds the pot with a 5 volt supply. Pin F is the pot bottom or ground connection. Pin E is the pot wi wiper and the output voltage on this will vary according to the pot position. The Pro 160 senses the voltage on pin E and adjusts its speed accordingly. The Pro 160 can also be controlled by a 5 volt hall type throttle like this. Depending on their properties, some hall throttles can be connected directly to pot connections D, E and F. Hall throttles usually give an output of 1 to 4 volts, which means that you will need to go through the pot learn process to teach the Pro 160 where the zero and full speed points are. Some hall throttles that draw more than around 10 milliamps will need to be fed from the BEC socket and the output sent in to pin E. For these you will also need to change the throttle input mode to volt mode. We should also mention radio control. To use this mode you will still need an ignition connection across A and B.